Hi, I'm John. So, yeah, this is my fourth time, and it's all new stuff, so bear with me. But uh, I think conflict diamonds are a lot like children. I don't have any, so I don't have to worry about losing them ever. <laughs> Where's the diamond? Am I the only one saw that movie? Okay. Alright, so there's really nothing quite like jerking yourself off to sleep and then waking up just dead to the world and sticky. And I like to nap in the park. Okay, I can't fall asleep with all those people around unless I jerk off. Don't judge me. <laughs> Alright, so I was in the squad car and I was thinking, if I was a woman for a day, you know what I would do? I'd probably just put about a baker's dozen goldfish in my vagina. <laughs> the real trick with that, the real, <laughs> the key with that trick is filming it and getting them back out before you turn into a man. <laughs> It would be great if we could get all get drunk at work, but this isn't an Italian police station. <laughs> I'm sorry if I offended some people here. So I have to look at this because I forgot. Alright, right, right so does, do you guys drive? You seem pretty young. It's bright light, so I can't tell, so probably not cars, but do you guys hate traffic? <laughs> I ride a motorcycle, so the wind doesn't really apply to me, but the one setback about riding a motorcycle is it pretty much limits roadhead to daredevil sluts. <laughs> now, I know a hooker in Nairobi that will do it on a bicycle for about 30 Nairobi shillings, which is the equivalent to a handshake from a white person. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so high on weed, not PCP, <laughs> Did you, have you guys ever been so high that you wrote something on the ceiling? <laughs> I have to use both my hands for this joke idea. Have you ever been so high that you wrote something on the ceiling? <laughs> now that's a joke that only works for weed, okay? Have you ever been so drunk that you tried to piss all over the ceiling? But you can't, okay? I'm just going to tell you right now, you can piss all over yourself, that's for sure. <laughs> Look it up on Craigslist, lady, that's a dude. These lights are bright. Anyways, yeah, it's actually a real condition of chronic alcoholism, too. You know, it's like sleepwalking, but you piss all over everything. You can piss on the rug, you can piss on your friend. You can piss while you're falling down a flight of stairs. And if you break your neck at the bottom, you're just going to shit in your girlfriend's panties, too. <laughs> If you look on Craigslist, that reduces their value. <laughs> that's a mistake most stoner ever makes. But I can buy, I can buy underwear on the internet. No, no thanks. This is the next word out of the stoner's mouth. Why are my thoughts out loud all of a sudden? I want Applebee's. Then it sucks because you realize Applebee's is from American TV. Fucking Rochester. <laughs> Excited teenage girls and now really frustrated teenage boys, and it's okay. It's, it's racism, man. It's like a corporation. It's the diffusion of responsibility, except instead of making really cheap shoes and enslaving Indonesia, you're getting pissed on at the fucking Red Hot Chili Peppers concert. But you just moshed for half an hour and paid $150, and you're not leaving. <laughs> Alright, so has anybody overdosed recently? <laughs> I only overdosed once in my life. It was on the milk of magnesia. And it's young. I don't know if you know what it is, but it's XX on steroids. No problem. Now, yeah, so I was six. You know, it was a rough time in my life, I remember. Now, I had constipation, and my grandmother's French Canadian, so. You know, I pretty much had to take a dose of her supervision. Like, it's not like I got a cup full of milk and magnesia while she was asleep watching Golden Girls. You know, I got it in the medicine cabinet. No, she poured it and made me drink it. I shit for three days, okay? No long story short. At the end of three days, I thought I was safe to go to my friend's house. We're sitting there playing Legos, everything is cool. Let me just tell you this, it only takes one time where you shit on your friend's floor to never be invited back. <laughs> and this is a kid that when I was five, I lent him silly putty and his mom came over to my house in the middle of the night fucking screaming, French Canadian, again, really pissed off. I don't know if you met those ladies, but they're bitches. <laughs> anyway, she's really pissed off because her son got the silly putty that I gave him at five. 
stuck in his hair. Is it my fault that your kid's too stupid at five years old to not sleep with silly putty on his face? So I run into jokes, that's it. But I have this one new one, and it's really, really Are you guys fans of comedy? Yeah! Okay, does anybody know who Emo Phillips is? Alright, it really sucks to be Emo Phillips. Because he keeps thinking he's losing all his fan base in Iran. Nobody? Okay. I thought that was a bit of a lot of a stretch, but I think I only have like 30 seconds left, but uh... Done. Yeah, Done. that's it. Kill it. Kill it. Thank you. Perfect. Good.